understanding scientific notation. This is chapter two in our books, in the purple book. Chapter two, section one, around page 60, we're in the textbook. As astronomers have to work with some very large and some very small numbers, for instance, the average distance from Earth to the moon is approximately 380 million meters. Light from the moon travels to the Earth at a speed of approximately 300 million meters per second. The light moves so fast through space that it travels one meter in about one 300 millionth meter of a second. When written as a decimal, that is, and yes, you can see those threes there at the very long end of a long string of zeros there in the hundred billionth or hundred millionth place of a second. And yes, that keeps going when you take one and divide it by 300 million. So yes, we have very, very large numbers and very small numbers. It's not easy to keep track of all those zeros in such large and small numbers, for instance. For this reason, scientists use scientific notation to represent and compare very large and very small numbers. So we're going to represent very large and small numbers today and compare them. We're going to do both parts. So describing some real world quantities that can be expressed in scientific notation. Okay, the diameter of an atom, tiny. We've talked about those things, you've talked about them in science. Parts of a cell, those mitochondrion, those tiny little pieces that you've talked about in science. The distance to Jupiter or Mars or the moon. Size of a microprocessor chip, like a micrometer, for instance. Micro, giga, nano, you've heard those things like nanoseconds. Bits on a computer hard drive, terabytes, for instance. So we've seen very large and very small things right within our own world here. Writing numbers in scientific notation is the first part of this. Any number can be written in scientific notation by expressing it in two parts. A coefficient, a number, that's somewhere between can equal 1 and between or less than 10. So 1 is less than or equal to that coefficient, that number, but it also has to be less than 10. So we don't want it to go over a digits place and a power of 10, so that's the second part. So the coefficient is a number, can be one and less than 10. For numbers greater than or equal to 10, you're gonna use a positive exponent. For numbers less than one, use a negative exponent. We already know, for instance, that 10 to the negative third is the same thing as one over 10 to the third, which is one 1,000th, or the decimal, one one thousand. So we know that um, negative exponents really mean very small numbers because it means the reciprocal of the positive exponent which makes it a decimal. Is each number written correctly in scientific notation? If not, state the reason why. So we have four examples here. Are they written in scientific notation? So does it have a number between one and ten times the power of ten? Well, 2 is a number between 1 and 10, and 10 to the 0 power means 1. So that's 2 times 1, which is the number 2. Yes, this is the number 2 written in scientific notation. Neptune, if it's about 4 and 488 thousandths times 10 to the 9th kilometers from the sun, is that written in scientific notation? Oh, Neptune is about. That should be the letter S, is about. Um, yes. That is a number in scientific notation, a number between 1 and 10 times the power of 10. It has two parts that are required for a number in scientific notation. So that answer is yes. The approximate wavelength of infrared light is 1 one hundredth times 10 to the negative fifth meter. That is not a number between 1 and 10. 1 one hundredth? No. That is not written in scientific notation, but I can convert it to a number in scientific notation. 1 times 10 to the negative third would be the equivalent of that number written in scientific notation. So the answer to number 3 is no, because 1 one hundredth is not a coefficient between 1 and 10. 
A football field, excluding the end zones, is 10 times 10 to the first 100 yards long. It's a 10 times 10 to the first, it is 100 yards. Well, 10 times 10 to the first, that's not in scientific notation. 100 is not in scientific notation. But 1 times 10 to the second, that is a number in scientific notation. The problem here is you have 10. The coefficient can be somewhere between 1. It can equal 1, that coefficient. I'll call it A like I did before. Um, but it has to be less than 10. This is 10. So not a number in scientific notation because you're using 10. This would be the equivalent form, 1 times 10 to the second. That would be scientific notation. So write each number in scientific notation. How do I convert a number that's not in scientific notation to a number in scientific notation? You saw me do it twice in number 3 and 4 just a second ago. Well, I'd have to get a single digit, so I'm going to move this decimal back so that it's just right of the first digit there, 4 and 277 thousandths, times 10 to that. How many places did I move it back? I moved it two places to the left. So when I'm moving it to the left, I'm going to have a positive exponent there. Moving it left gives me a positive power. The value is exactly the same. 427 and 7 tenths is the same thing as 4 and 277 thousandths times the 10 to the second power, which is 100. So yes, they are the same exact value. They are different forms. This number, not in scientific notation. This number, in scientific notation. OK, what if I have a very small number and I have to move the decimal to the right to get ooh, one more place there? So it would be 7 and no tenths. So move the decimal so it's just after the first digit, 7 and nothing. I could put that 0 there. Times how many places did I move it? I moved it 3 places. So my power of 10 would be 10 to the negative third. So moving the decimal to the right gives me a negative power. Moving the decimal to the left gave me a positive power. They are the same exact number. 7 thousandths is the same as 7 times 10 to the negative third is the thousandths. So 7 times thousandths would give me 7 thousandths. Same value in these two, different forms. One is in scientific notation, one is not. Um, number uh, three, four, five, and six. See if you can put these into scientific notation. So a number between one and 10 times a power of 10. Both have to be there. A number between one and 10 times a power of 10. So make sure you have both parts of the form. We'll go over this in class um, when we get together tomorrow. So try those in your spiral. Standard form. What if a number is in scientific notation and you want to put it into the real, normal looking number, standard decimal numeral form? OK, so we want to put it back to standard form. So we do the opposite. We reverse the steps for writing numbers in standard form. So reverse those steps that we did before. So I need to move the decimal. This is a positive power, so I'm going to move the decimal to the right three places. This is the same thing as 7 and 1 tenth times 10 to the third is 1,000. When I multiply a number by 1,000, I move the decimal 1, 2, 3 places to the right. So I would have 7 1,100 would be the standard form of 7 and 1 tenth times 10 to the third, which is 1,000. 7 times 1,000 is going to give me an answer like 7,000. 7 and 1 tenth times 1,000 gives me 7,100. 8 and 12 hundredths times 10 to the negative third, while well, this negative exponent tells me to move the decimal three places to the left. So I fill in with my 
zeros and I would have 812 hundred thousands as that number in standard decimal numeral form. So moving to the left three places, fill in with zeros, I would have 812 hundred thousands. Because this is the same thing as eight and twelve hundredths times one one thousand, right? Move it to the left. It's like dividing by a thousand. Think of this as dividing by a thousand. That's exactly what's happening here. There it is, dividing by the thousand. Dividing by a thousand moves three to the left. Negative exponent, move to the left. Positive exponent, move it to the right. Now these two, try these two on your own and we'll go over that in class. I did two, you do two. Try those two. The second part of the lesson, part two here, now we're going to compare numbers that are in scientific notation. And if they're not in scientific notation, we're going to put them into the same form, either standard numeral form or scientific notation form. So the first example here, 5 and 6 tenths times 10 to the second and 2 and 1 tenth times 10 to the third. So it says if the numbers are written in scientific notation, example one, a number between 1 and 10 times a power of 10, a number between 1 and 10 times a power of 10. So they are written in scientific notation. Compare the powers of 10, okay? Or if they're equal powers of 10 and they're written in scientific notation, then compare the coefficient part of it. Well, these are numbers written in scientific notation here, number example number one. So it, compare the powers of 10. This is 10 to the second. 10 to the second is less than 10 to the third. 10 to the second is 100. 10 to the third is 1,000. So this number, 5 and 6 tenths times that 10 to the second is going to be less than 2 and 1 tenth times 10 to the third less than. That's how I compare those. In example two, we have the same power of 10. So now I'm going to look at the coefficient. And I see that 3 and 4 tenths is greater than 1 and 1 tenth. So my 3 and 4 tenths times 10 to the negative first is going to be greater than 1 and 1 tenth times 10 to the negative first. Compare each pair of numbers using less than or greater than. Okay, so I'm going to do these two. Let's see, the first example, they do not have the same power of 10. They are written in scientific notation, however. 4 and 2 tenths, a number between 1 and 10. 6 and 5 tenths, a number between 1 and 10. And they're both times the power of 10. So I know that 10 to the second is greater than 10 to the first. So 4 and 2 tenths times 10 to the second is going to be a number larger than 6 and 5 tenths times 10 to the first. So this is a larger than example. Looking at example number 4, I have the same power of 10. They are written in scientific notation. So now I just compare the numerical coefficients, which 3 and 6 tenths is less than 8 and 4 tenths. So this, 3 and 6 tenths times 10 to the negative third, is less than 8 and 4 tenths times 10 to the negative third. What happens if the numbers are not written in the same form, if they're not both in scientific notation? Well, you could either put them both into scientific notation or put them both into standard form. Put them into the same form and then compare them. So in 2000, Americans consumed an average of 47 and 2 tenths pounds of potatoes. Woo! 47 and 2 tenths pounds of potatoes, not in scientific notation. And 5 and 936 thousandths times 10 to the second uh, pounds of dairy products. 
Ooh, this might be zoomed too big. Maybe that's why. See if I zoom this smaller. Oh, now I think you can see it better because um, it's getting cut off over here. So we'll just change the zoom here. Um, did Americans com consume more pounds of potatoes or more dairy? Hmm. Well, this number's in scientific notation over here for dairy. This number's in standard form. Hmm. Oh, not, I mean, not in scientific notation. If I put this number into scientific notation, I would have 4 and 72 hundredths times 10 to the first. If I put this number into standard form, da -dum -da -dum, it would be 593 and 6 tenths. as a um, standard form. So I know 47 and 2 tenths is less than 593 and 6 tenths. But I also know if they're both in standard form, that 10 to the, or scientific notation, sorry, scientific notation, 10 to the first is less than 10 to the second. So comparing both forms, people consumed more dairy products. People consumed more dairy products. It's larger than they did potatoes. Oh, thank goodness. It's good to have dairy. Potatoes, not all that starch. Okay, an actor has, here's another example, 7,000, I'm sorry, 75,126 fans on social network, a musician has eight and 58 hundredths times 10 to the fourth fans um, as a musician. Hmm. If I change the that to standard form, let's just compare standard form here. You don't have to do both ways. I'm going to put this number into standard form. One, two, three, four. Positive power, move it to the right, and I'm going to get 85,800 fans. Well, he wins. The musician has more fans. Who has more fans? The musician has more fans. I put them both into standard form. Maybe you didn't think to do it that way. I could put this number into scientific notation, which would be 7 and 5,126 ten thousandths times 10 to the fourth which would be, again, less than 8 and 58 hundredths times 10 to the fourth, because this coefficient is greater than that coefficient. Same power, yes, it's less than. So the key idea is put the numbers into the same form, scientific notation form or standard form, then make your comparison. Why don't you try this um, bacteria question on your own um, and we'll check this when we get back in school tomorrow or um, and the last this next one also so there are the average diameter of a type of round shape of bacteria here's a standard form and it's being compared to the spacing between the two bacteria, scientific notation form. Either put them both into standard or both into scientific notation. Which length is lesser in this example? Do that one on your own. And then the next one, there are 5 and 816 thousandths times 10 to the 4 spectators in a stadium and watching a football match Compared to in a theater, there are 1,150 people watching an opera. Which venue has more people? So put them into the same form, compare, and get an answer, and we'll go over those in class tomorrow.